Hey there, it's Jamie Hope. I am with Methyl Life and we deliver a lot of products with folate in them. So I wanna to talk today about DFE labeling. This is a new industry standard that's come out from the FDA. And so what does DFE stand for? DFE stands for Dietary Folate Equivalent. And essentially what that means is if you were to take folic acid and you were to compare it to dietary food, like a plate of spinach, a plate of spinach would be about 50% bioavailable, says the FDA. The folic acid supplement would be about 85% bioavailable, according to the FDA. So essentially what they're trying to do is say, if we're labeling folate, should we be labeling it as food bioavailability or as folic acid bioavailability? And they've decided they want to start labeling it as food bioavailability. And since folic acid is much more bioavailable, they're basically having to do a multiple. So if you take 85 and you divide it by 50, you end up with a number that is 1.7. And so this is now the number that the FDA wants you to use to multiply the amount of folic acid you have in a product by. You need to do, times it by 1.7. So quick example, let's say I have a product, I'm putting a thousand micrograms of folic acid in it. What I need to do is I need to times that thousand micrograms by 1.7 to end up with 1700 micrograms. Now, when I label it on my product, I'm going to label it as folate 1700 micrograms DFE folate. So essentially we're using the same amounts that we used to use of these nutrients, uh, but the FDA is asking for that uh, equivalent to drive up the value of folate or the amount of folate reflected on the label. So how does this affect you? Well, if you're looking at dietary supplements, you're either seeing those values for folate grow to almost twice as much, or if nothing's changed, and you took a product five years ago that had 1,000 micrograms in it, and it still has 1,000 micrograms in it, then it means you're getting about half the folic acid that they used to put in it. So if folic acid was what they were putting in it. Uh, we put methylfolate in our product specifically, but this particular labeling requirement guideline, this 1.7 times, is still being required for that nutrient. So. So how does this affect methyl life or the products that you take from us? Essentially, our formulas haven't changed. We've been doing the same formulas for the last eight, 10 years now, and those formulas haven't changed. But now we have to reflect those formulas in DFE value, in this dietary folate equivalent. So we have to times our folate amounts by 1.7. So essentially you're going to see that value on the label grow significantly. And for a lot of customers that's alarming because they think, oh, this is way too much folate. Well, we haven't changed the product any, it's exactly the same. It's just, it now has to be reflected in the bioavailability according to food, not the bioavailability of the uh, nutrient itself.